third BZ principles of the 2020-2021 school year. As you can tell, we're not in stingers. It's a little different. And I think the topic that we're going to talk about today, the topic of being effective, really fits with right now. Because my heart and my desire would be to be with you. But due to what's happening in our family with the the potential of is there COVID here, is there not COVID here, and test results we're waking, waiting on. The best thing that I can do for you, the most effective thing I can do for you is what I'm doing right now. So as we unpackage this idea of effectiveness, I think it's important to look around us and to see the environment that we're currently in. So let me remind us that servant leadership is somebody who seeks to be mission and vision driven. You're about the organization, the team, the family, you see the vision that you wanna go for, but then you're also customer focused, looking at what is relevant, what is emotionally relevant to that customer, what makes them tick, and never forget, a customer relationship is not financial, it's not for the benefit of the organization, it's relational. It's all about what what we can do for them and what they do for us. It's a relational customer service is not transactional. It's relational. So when we look at effectiveness, I think you need to look at these four things and I'm going to read these off to you. Effective servant leaders do the right thing. You don't worry about anything else. You just do the right thing. So like right now, the right thing is me to be right here with at my house and quarantining and keeping out of keeping you healthy. Effective servant leaders have the courage to lead out their convictions. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Effective servant leaders, leadership is decisive. You know how to make, when you know what the right thing to do is, you know how to make decisions. And then the last fourth point that I have is effective servant leadership is relevant and not reverent. Now, when you hear the word reverent, especially in Christian worlds, you think you think of the Bible. But what I mean is when you're effective, you're relevant to the customer, you're relevant to the situation, you're not reverent to what you've always done. So let's look at the definition of effective. To be effective, you need conviction, you need focus, and you need commitment. Conviction, focus, and commitment. And let me break that down for us. Let's start with conviction. You have to know understand and own the right thing. There are a lot of things that you can do and there are a lot of cool things you can do and there's a lot of things that are important that are valuable and urgent but are they the important thing? Are they the right thing? And I think the key thing to be an effective is to identify and to accept and to own the right thing. And to understand there's going to be a right thing for other people that might not be the right thing for you. You have to understand that the right thing is the effective thing. Also, you need to never compromise the important. You're going to see us break down, own it, our, our slogan that we use and throughout these, these three concepts. But you're never going to compromise the important. You're going to keep the important thing there. So if it's about family, it's that's what's important. If it's about your work and its integrity, that's what's important. You never compromise on the important. And I think in conviction as Christ followers, it's important to know who you are because of whose you are. You were created in the image of God. You were created to be a, a bearer, a image bearer of Jesus Christ. So your conviction in what you do, the effective things you do, the right things you do, should always be dictated by your conviction and your worldview that Jesus is your savior, that God is God. And it's not about what other people think, it's you understand who you are because you know whose you are. So that's conviction. And then we go to focus. So focus, you have to be continually learning. That's what we're doing right now. You never give in to other things. It's continual learning. You also must equip and engage yourself. So yeah, you got to get yourself equipped. You got to engage yourself in situations, but it's not important just to do it to yourself. It's also important. You have to do that to others. You got to be open to change and growth. There's another one of our own it things. You've got to be open to change. Your focus doesn't need to just be on, oh man, I wonder what is the thing that we've always done? No, what's going to cause that change and that growth in you? So open to change and growth. You need to wrestle with ideas and concepts. I don't think open to change and growth can happen without wrestling with ideas and concepts. And I don't think you can wrestle with ideas and concepts unless you're open to change and growth. So that's why those are there. And you've also got to involve others. In being effective, this is not the John Wayne, the Lone Ranger. This is about teamwork. 
about doing things together. So you got to be open to changing growth. You got to wrestle with ideas and concepts. And then you've also got to involve others. So we've seen conviction. You know who you are because of whose you are. And you never compromise the important. You see focus. You wrestle with ideas and concepts. You're open to change and growth. And you involve others. And the last one is commitment. Do the right thing. Just do it. I think there's a lot of times that we've heard is like, well, what happens if people don't like it? Do the right thing and let God sort out the rest. There are times that you're going to do the right thing in your life that nobody's going to know. Or you're going to do the right thing and people are going to mock you. Or you're going to do the right thing and maybe you do not get that promotion. But do the right thing at all times because that's effective. And then the last one on commitment is total commitment. It's the idea that if you're going to do it, do it. Don't go in half-hearted. Go in with gusto. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So to be effective, you need to have the right convictions, the idea that God is God, and you know who you are because of whose you are, and you don't compromise the important. You've also got to have that focus. Are you open to change and growth? Will you wrestle with those ideas and concepts, and will you involve others? And then it ends up with that commitment. Are you willing to put everything in and let God work out the details? You just give your best at all times. And remember, that's what BZ is. It's, it's not striving for perfect, perfection because perfection's a myth. It's the idea that we are always going to give extraordinary effort while we strive for excellence. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be effective. I want you to be an effective servant leader. I want you to know the right thing to do. But that means you've got to own it. So let's break down own it as we end this talk. It's open to change and growth. It's wrestling with ideas and, con and, and concepts. It's never compromising the important. It's involving others and it's total commitment. So to be effective, you need to have conviction, you need to have focus, and you need to have commitment.